The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart here. This is the daily chart of the U.S. dollar index. This is the one that I focused on in the newsletter uh, over the weekend and then also the videos that I sent out on Sunday night saying that this was probably going to be an indicator that we're going to see a big move in the euro and gold and uh, probably a few other things, but specifically gold and the euro. And as you can see here, uh, this was the high, and it's backed off uh, considerably since then. The euro itself has rallied almost 100 pips uh, off the bottom, and uh, that means that the U.S. dollar index is backing off. Now, that was just a pattern completed, folks. I, you know, I don't know where it's going to go from here. All I know is at that particular point, it had a chance to turn. It could be a substantial turn, too, but we don't know that for a fact. The one that I really messed up was the gold market because I thought that breakout above uh, 1952 that we had yesterday, we went up to 954, 1954, and I said, well, it's not acting right. So I decided to, uh, well, we were still in it because I got out because I could see it turning. But last night we were able to get back to break even on that gold at uh, 1952. And I suggested if we got up there, to take out, uh, you know, to just go ahead and get out. And you can see we back, we went from 1952, we dropped a little more than $11 a barrel, which was down at 1941. And then from 1941, we did a really, really big move up to 1965. We moved uh, another $17 higher. And here's a case where I had the actual market in the right direction. And I didn't get paid for that. So that's the way it goes. You know, sometimes it's chicken salad. Sometimes it's chicken, you know, whatever. But anyway, it depends on how you mix it. Okay, now I want to, the reason why I'm sharing you this, folks, is because, you know, when you get people up here, they don't tell you when you do things wrong. They only tell you how smart you are when you do things right. But I want to show you something that I did that I thought was probably, without doubt, the absolute dumbest trade that I have done uh, in at least three or four months. Let me get this up here on screens. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen now. I hope this is going to do it. I don't know if it is or not. We're going to try it uh, and see if it's working there. Um, Jacob, let me know if you can see the little mouse working and everything. Okay, uh, if you could. I guess you can, otherwise you'd say no. Anyway, you, you can see here, look at this perfect ABCD, folks. And it comes right down to the absolute bottom there. The number uh, was at 34, uh, 4534. It's 4434, sorry, 4434 was the perfect ABCD. The low at point D was 44, 33 and one quarter. So it went a quarter below the D point, and you can see, and this went off the top of this chart, folks. This was done earlier in the morning. I'm bringing this to your attention because I happened to be in that trade, and what I did was I said, well, I think this time it's going to break below that, and I ended up getting out with my skin. I sold it really good last night right up there at the, at the C point, and I did get out with a very, very small profit, but... All I had to do was to buy that right before the open, and it was a, it had a 50 handle payout, and more than that, 60 handle payout, uh, almost 60 handle payout, which uh, unfortunately I didn't get that along with the, uh, oh, along with the gold. But you know we had others that were doing pretty good. You know we had the we had the euro was doing pretty good. We also knew that the bonds were probably going to go uh, a little bit higher. Those have uh, moved higher also, so. Anyway, I just want to let you know when I do things wrong, I want to give you an idea of why I did them. And the reason why is because that breakout in gold I thought might be a false breakout. And in fact, it really wasn't. 
false breakout was between my ears. <laughs> I should have just gone with my original gut, and that is to buy the gold and hang on, and the and the, uh, the, the crude oil, which that crude oil, the crude oil was a beauty one today. We had a really nice move in crude oil, made a beautiful ABCD up there at 8080, broke a dollar seventy a barrel down to the 382 at 7930, and then rallied all the way back to 8050. Those are the kind you you like to see during the day, but I did miss a few others, and uh, that's the way the name of the game goes, folks. Someday it's chicken salad, like I said, and other times it's not chicken salad. Okay, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. As I mentioned, it's Bob Miner today. Tomorrow is Jeff Huge. On Thursday is going to be none other than Stan Harley, and on Friday we've got Joe who tells it like it is to Napoli will be talking to us about the markets and the markets only if we can get in touch with him. That is always an interesting phenomenon. Okay, I wanted to share with you uh, one other uh, chart that I, I believe is relatively important, but I wanted to get up here so you can see where we are with this because, uh-oh, and get this out of the way, and you'll see here's where we are right now because I want you to see where we got to today. Hold on, bear with me one second here. And all right, I hope this is right. Uh, no, wrong, wrong window. Just give me a second, boys and girls. I'll try to get the right window up. I, oh boy, oh boy. Let's come up here and we go to uh, share change windows. And we want to go, when I go to screen, then I then I lose my, I lose my uh, picture of the chart. Okay, there it is. All right. Now, this is uh, where we were here on Sunday. Now we've gotten all the way up to the 78% level. We did hit that 4,500 level. Now that's done in in two days, folks. Monday and Tuesday. That is power par excellence. So whether it turns down from this level. We don't know, but the fact that it got there was really amazing. The NASDAQ shattered all these numbers on the way up like they didn't even exist. They were having a clearance sale, and everybody wanted it. And so that's why that took off. The, the Dow Jones was lagging badly for a while, and then it picked up speed and took out the previous week's high by just, uh, you know, didn't like it didn't even exist. That was at 47, uh, four, <laughs> at uh let me see if I get the number right. It's 34741 34, is what it was. It went through there like it was melted butter. It's gone 150 points higher than that. So those are some of the things that we're watching here today as we're looking at some of these things unfold. So if you have any questions, be sure to give me a call. I know you don't, and it doesn't make any difference because Al said that the lines are absolutely – they're screaming. They're livid, he said. Livid was the word he used. There's so many people trying to get through on the line. But keep trying. Maybe you'll be lucky and get through. All right, when we get back, I want to talk to you about the gold market, okay, because we're at a real critical level here in this gold, and we want to pay close attention to it. 877-927-6648. inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 Internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the gold. It's a four-hour chart. This was the one I was looking at Sunday because all the work that we did on that U.S. dollar index said that the dollar was going to weaken, i.e., stronger gold prices. So I thought that once we went above that old high at uh, 1951, buy it at 1952, and it went from 1952 to 1954 and stopped dead in its tracks, stayed there for two and a half hours. And I said, this is not good. And so uh, the market broke down, went down to 1947, and then, excuse me, 1941. And then I told the folks, if we rally back to get your original thing back, I said, it's probably best to take it. And of course, uh, it took it, and then it gave them another $13. Now, I, the only reason I'm doing that, folks, I almost never do a breakout, and I doubt if I ever will do one again. This is the first one that I've done in so long, and the reason why is it worked, but the problem is after the breakout, there was a big drop. You know, that's a $1,400 drop. I don't want to risk $1,400 when I'm trading the gold. So that's what I try to do is to narrow the risk down so they don't have to risk very much. The rest of the stuff is relatively easy, you know, once you get that moving. So I hope that makes sense, but I wanted to, several people ask me why am I buying a breakout for the first time since the Hector was a pup and that dog's 17 years old now. So the reason why is it looked that good. The problem was a good problem because all during this move, you can see this down move, folks. We were selling on those 382 rallies. Every time we had one, two or three days, we would sell that rally. Never gave us any heat. And the bottom, of course, came in around 1912. And from there, we've rallied up to today as 1967. That's 100, 166. That's $150. Uh, per ounce, which is a huge amount. That's fact. That's what you usually get uh, when you have a long-term chart, and certainly that's what's uh, happened. There should be strong resistance up here at 1967, uh, 66 and a half, which was a high. Where it is right now, I don't know. I'll have to double check, uh, double check the uh, prices, but I'll, I'll do that. Uh, in a, just a minute. As a matter of fact, let's just uh, let's just do that right now, and see if we can get that up and running, so that the folks can see what I'm seeing here. Oh yeah, the golds went up and made another new high. So let's get up here. Hold on one sec. I think you uh, 
you probably can see the uh, uh, no I can't oh man this is you know what these things say uh, th th this is not right um, I'm sorry folks I'm still having technical difficulty on this and I don't want to to do that but we've uh, we just went above the old high here in the gold for the day up here at this uh, 1266 level uh, gosh, look at crude oil, folks. It's rallying two dollars a barrel from the bottom. It's now breaking out on the upside after breaking down on the uh, on the little part of the move. Just just to try to give you an idea of how much action we've had here uh, in the crude oil. Let me get this up here so you'll be able to to see it. But uh, this was a oh my goodness! Look where it stopped. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, what do you think there, Jonathan? Uh, Johnny, what do you think it uh, stopped at? Uh, hold your little placard card up there and say 382 because you're going to see here on the low here. Oh, I didn't see that. Boy, you just can't see them all. That's the problem. And get this up here, and I'll bet it just disappears. And there it is. Look at the low today, folks. There's the low, the exact 382. And look where it is now. That's a $2,000 move, folks. Wow. I was short that. I covered it here, but I did not go long. I didn't see this until just now. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, this is a day for missing a lot of stuff. I definitely should uh, take a little break today after the markets close because I certainly didn't handle any of them. I made a couple of bucks, but golly gee, Red Rider, this should have made a lot of money. And, uh, we're breaking out now, gold to the upside, and here I am standing as a wicked stepsister in the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, annals of the uh, unanticipated trades, I guess is what you would say. Okay, now I need, because we're having so much volatility here today, I wanted to see, oh, there's one we really like, and that was the euro. I need to share the euro on this one, folks, because this has been a, this was a really beauty uh, today, and uh and we'll be able to see it here. Uh, I'm going to put it on an hourly chart. So you'll be, those of you that get the uh, videos, you'll be able to see it. But we had a really nice uh, butterfly pattern down here at the 78% level. I'll draw it in so you'll be able to see it. And it's moved uh, exactly 100 pips uh, from that level right now. So that's another good one that looks pretty good. Okay, now give me one second, and I'm going to... Uh, See if I can bring this up and put it in here so you folks can take a quick look at it. I'm going to change windows, and we're going to go to screens. <sighs> that don't work. Jake, if it don't work, Bubba, it don't work. And I'm afraid when I do this, it's going oh, it didn't disappear. There it is right there, folks. Remember, we thought that the, 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 the uh, euro was going to break out to the upside, and as you can see here, Came right down. That was the low right here. It was the exact 786. Now, we bought it right here and with our stop right below there. So we've still taken the bulk out of it. But we thought this was going to hold, but it didn't get our stop. So now it's put us into the green uh, really, really nicely here. That same is true with the British pound, but lagging very, very badly. Can't even take out the previous day's high so far. It's a dollar index that's getting hit, folks, because the euro... It's 53% of the dollar index, and that's what makes a difference. This move in crude oil is quite spectacular, too, folks. I think I showed you what that was. Let's just let's just go to the next one here. Maybe the, the, the chart will still be here, and we'll be able to see it. Uh, and here it is. Please tell me this is going to hold up. My golly, look at this. Look at your – there's your 127 right here, and then look at all the way up here. This is, this is the breakout level this morning, and all it did was take it out by 20 pips, and then right there was your first sell at the 382. There was another one right here. There was your profit objective, and look at this, what's happening now. This thing is breaking out for real, folks. You're going to have to be paying more for a gasoline, heating oil. Uh, you won't buy in crude oil, but we will be paying more for your uh, heating oil and your gasoline, that's for sure. And by the way, speaking of that, we will have Mike Moore as our guest on uh, Thursday. Mike Moore will be our guest on Thursday. And as I mentioned, Mr. DiNapoli, hopefully God willing, and she usually is, will be our guest here uh, on Friday. Uh, someone asked me a question, am I still bearish the stock market? Eh, 
Yeah, but when you have such a big move like this, uh, if it, you know, this is a Monday and Tuesday, let's see what it does on Wednesday. But the fact that it went up there and made that 786 and the NASDAQ went through the 786 like it didn't even exist. So that means that all those tech stocks are still in the foray and the foray is making hay. So I will stand aside. So that's what we're paying attention to here as we're looking at some of these things here today. I hope that helps. And if it doesn't, We'll try something else, that's for sure. Stay tuned, folks. After we take this little break, we're going to have Bob Miner, and he's got some great stuff. He's one heck of a technician and trader. 5 the Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment gold. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, it doesn't look like we're able to have Bob on the line today. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to look at some other charts that we might be able to go through. Now, if you do have a question, you could call through on 877-927-6648, and we'll try to uh, analyze it for you if we can. But let's just cover some of the things. Uh, the most important thing, of course, was that dollar index. Okay, that was the one that was uh, very, very important. Uh, the other one that I wanted to just reiterate where we are on this, let me get this 
chart up here on the gold here because we're heading towards uh, the 61% retracement of this move going back to last August. And that comes in at 19.75. We're just a heartbeat away. That's a big A, B, C, D and everything. But you'll be able to see that when we get this up here to take a look and uh, we'll not worry about it. And yeah, don't worry about it, Al. We'll, uh, hopefully this will go through. Yeah, no hope there. I don't know why it doesn't happen that way, but we're going to try it again. Just one second here, folks. Uh, I, I do what I'm to told to do here, but I go to screens and it doesn't make any, uh, it doesn't give me the, uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, ah, God damn. Time out, boys and girls. Let me try one other time. I, like I said before. Oh, now I've lost Discord. Now, what do we have to do here to find Discord again? Boy, oh boy. All right, we're going to try it one more time. Get it up here. Maybe we'll be able to get it to see it. There it is. Okay, here's where we are, folks. This is where we, uh, oh, we've got a caller on the line here. And who could that be? And we will move right over. Marshall from Washington, the state of Washington. Marshall Robinson, how are you today, my friend? Fantastic. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. What's your question, my friend? Uh, what do you think about the Treasury bonds? Aren't they about due here? We're at a, we're coming up right on a three eight two here. Uh, yes. You think it's yeah. time to sell them? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to wait a day just because of the increased volatility we had in the stock market. But the bond market overall is very bearish. As you know, we've been bearish this thing since two and a half years ago. And we had a bottom, and the bottom is now having a short covering rally. But, the, you know, the Fed is going to be raising rates, so that means bonds will be going lower. But I believe it's somewhere around 123. Am I close on that one? Because I haven't, with all the, all the alligators in my swamp today, Marshall, I haven't really checked. But, you know, what we'll do is, hey, just for kicks and giggles, right after we're done here, as a matter of fact, while you are on the line, stay on the line, and we're going to give you a bird's eye view of what I think the bonds are doing. And let's just get them up here, and here are the old bondolis. We're at 121.09 right now, and so stay with us, folks. Boy, what a move today. Right off the 618, too. Let's move to a four-hour chart so we can see the value of this rally that we've got going here. And, oh, my goodness, Marshall, you got it nailed right to the wall. Just a second here. It's, it's at 121.19, uh, and we're only, uh, we're only nine, and 10 ticks away. Hold on. Let me get the uh, chart up so everybody in the, the uh, peanut gallery can see it, and hopefully we'll be able to see it. Uh, it never works that way. This will work. This will work. I know it will. Yes. There it is. So here's where we were. Here was the 382 pullback right here at Fed time. We, uh, we mentioned that one, and then this is what we're looking at right here, folks. That's a 382 retracement of the high that we made um, way back here. See that high way back there from that move? There, I'm going from the high down to the low, and that 382, that goes back to the middle of July. On July the 19th, it made a high. Then we came down, and now the 382 on this thing comes in at 121.19. So if this is a really good 382, then you don't have to risk more than about 10 pips. And if it's right, yeah, if it's right, say again, please. That's what I thought. Well, one great mind thinks alike, and thanks for that great mind of calling in. I appreciate it. How's Lynn doing? Is she doing well? She's doing fantastic. How about Sarah? Oh, she's fine. Listen, come down and see us, pal. We miss you. Well, we're planning on it. Hopefully okay. this fall. Yeah, well, fall is only uh, about uh, nine days away, Bubba. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I better get planning, huh? <laughs> summer's, summer's gone in a few days. But anyway, we would like to see you, Marshall, so please come down when you get a chance, okay? And, and thank, thank, will. Thanks, and thanks, then, thanks for, thanks for answering my question. I appreciate well, it. I'll be sending a video out on it tonight for sure because it's going to be an interesting one with this power that we're having. And really, it's not – I mean, it's powerful, but nothing like what we're seeing in stocks. So we'll be watching that one real closely also. So let's pay pay close attention to that one because it's going to be interesting, okay? Okay. Okay. 
Thanks for calling in, my friend. I don't know how you got through, Marshall. 91 lines, and they were all jammed up, and you snuck through. Buy a lottery ticket. I think today's your <laughs> lucky day. <laughs> okay, I think folks. you're right. You're absolutely I, I, right. I, I, Just stay away from open graves, okay? Oh, I stay on the green side of the grass. and not. I wanted to show one other one here that I've been watching here today because I, I'm, I'm a big ABCD fan. And we're going to see an ABCD. Now, this is just a, this is the uh, calculated eight-minute uh, moving uh, oscillator that I use. But I want to get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. Now, uh, this is going to be – you're going to have to have really mucho uh, – what do you call it? Um, uh, discipline to do this trade. But listen, And I will be doing it. I shall. I shall. I do all ABCDs. That's the one thing I do know, folks, is ABCD. And here's we're going to be looking at it right here. Please come up here. And there it is. Now, this is just an eight-minute chart. Now, this is the one that drove me nuts, folks. There's the bottom right here. Okay, I, I actually was long there for a little bit. It was in the S&P. Of course, I, I got out with my 10 points and said thank you. And I said, well, maybe I'll leave the other 70 points uh, on the table. And I did. And anyway, that's it. But anyway, this number comes in. at uh, You can see it. I hope you can see it. Um, I can't read it because it's still, oh, there it is. It's 34,876, I believe. That's it. So if you're going to sell that number, 34,876, you got to risk $300, folks. That's 30 ticks in that Dow E-mini because if it's good, it's not going to go any more than that. And uh, But, again, it certainly could, and that's where you will be wrong. And you don't want to uh, stand in front of it. Hey, hey, it's tough enough. Excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat. My frog's coming back. Anyway, that's what I'd be watching here today. Now, I uh, my main thing was the currencies today, folks. The currencies, I missed the gold. And the gold, gold got up to, what, uh, 1966. And now it's back to 1965. So it's not doing a whole lot. Uh, but I did really, I did really well in the crude oil. I did really well uh, in the bonds, and, and and of course in the currencies were were super good, both in the British pound, the yen, and the uh, uh, euro. The euro was by far the uh, easiest one to use of all the ones that we're watching here. So let's uh, take a break here. I think we got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome, Marshall. I didn't know you were still on the line for it, buddy. I hope you didn't pay too much for your over. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I will put the chart up here of the uh, euro. Now, this is interesting now. You notice that we were looking for the target to come down here, just a little below the 786. That was at 106.90. Uh, we didn't even make the 78% level. The key was the dollar index. The dollar index hit that number, and we didn't do it in the euro. That meant that there was a little more strength in the euro than people were anticipating because the euro is 56%, I believe, of the dollar index. And when it's stronger than the rest of them or weaker, it gives you a rough idea. Do you remember we've had Mike Moore on the line who will be here on Thursday? And he'll be telling us that uh, when we're watching these things unfold, that we'll be looking at things like the heating oil and gasoline to see how they're reacting to the crude oil itself. Remember, crude oil had been lagging badly, but the fact that we hit that 382 right on the money today at 79.35, and I can't believe I didn't buy it. I mean, like I said, when there's a lot of alligators in the swamp, you're doing your best to get out with one arm in contact. So that's really well, – I'm not worried about that. It's been a fun day. Anyway, let's uh, let's keep an eye on these because this could be a tremendous move here. Just the fact that uh, it's breaking out so strongly. And, hey, folks, this is where it was Friday. That is not today's action. You know, you can see where we are now that we're, you know, we're taking out those highs. And so that tells us that, yeah, there's something uh, something amiss here with the U.S. dollar, and maybe that's why the gold is uh, so weak. We would assume that it is, because usually when the dollar is weak, the gold is strong, okay? Now let's move on, and we want to cover a few others here that we've uh, – by the way, that, that chart that we just saw, that was an up-to-date chart. That was not uh, the delayed chart that we were looking at here with the others. So – I wanted to uh, also bring uh, to bring to your attention here uh, the British pound because we had a similar situation in the British pound today. But as we mentioned, it's probably better to trade the euro. But this was a good move also. I want to bring it up to you because we've made that. The euro was so clear because it had the beautiful Gartley, whereas the British pound did not have that. What the British pound had, and we'll get it up so you'll be able to see it, it had just a straight down move that went down to this just a tiny bit below the 78% level. And now you see the euro is the strongest because it's already taken this out by quite a bit. But the British pound is now finally doing it. Now, it's okay if you want to trade both of them. But remember, when you put those currencies on, that's like a double position. So you've got to manage your risk properly, you know, when you're when you're doing these things. So I, I hope that gives you a, a pretty good idea of uh, what we're what we're looking at someone asked me a question am i am i really going to do that trade in the dow, dow jones absolutely i'll tell you folks i do all abcds you know sure yeah i lose some yep sure do guess what i also win some i win more than i lose and that's what uh, that's what the bottom line is so hasn't got there yet because i haven't seen the bell ring on the wall but it's getting pretty close we're going to find out we've got two hours to go so you know, like we say, these can these things can jump around quite a bit in two hours, and you just never know 
uh, what's going to go on. Now, I don't know if uh, if I move around, if we can see. Hold on one second here. I want to make sure that we have everything the way we're trying to get it. What happened? <clears throat> Hello, operator. Where is my charts? I don't know. where. Hold on just a second. Um, I've got to change this uh, window. All right. Just give me a second here. Where are we with the... Down. Oh, we're only uh, we're only 30 pips, 25 pips away uh, in the thing. I wanted to share the dollar chart with you because if you see this dollar, ah, the U. This is the Dow Jones, folks. E mini. I wanted to share with you because you do not see that uh, A B C D pattern that I'm looking at on the 15 minute chart. Hold on just a second here, and you'll get up here to see it. There is the Dow Jones right here. Okay, you see, I'm looking at, at a telescopic, uh, microscopic view of this area right here. And that's what's giving me this ABCD up here at 847. Now, you see, it's already above the 3.8 percentage. See, we've already taken that out, you know. So my assumption was this was going to be a, a five-day rally. And, boy, it's gone a lot more on the upside than I thought it had. And so that's why I'm being very, very careful. But I'm going to put the order in. The order is setting there. And when it gets filled, I'm just going to put a stop. I've already put the stop in. I'm going to risk 60 points, which is $300. That's it. You know, If it's right, it's going to work. If it's wrong, it's not going to work. That's, the, that's, that's all you can do. You can't do any better than that. Okay, let's move on to a, one other one here that I think uh, deserves our attention here uh, is this uh, Treasury bond market. I want to go into one other thing in the bonds because uh, I want to get this up here so we can see it a little clearly because this is really an important one, folks. I didn't draw in the ABCDs on this because uh, Marshall was on the line. I didn't get a chance to do that. But I'm going to do that now just to see that if it measures up to where we think we're going to be going. Uh oh, and as a trading job, as a trading gods tell us, it looks like it's pretty close. And remember the numbers. Proceed the geometry. This is the words of Dr. Albert Einstein, and uh, we're going to be paying attention to that here. By the way, who plays uh, Dr. Uh, Einstein in the uh, the movie uh, Oppenheimer? Does anybody know? I haven't seen a movie. Last movie I saw was three years ago, uh, Crazy Rich Asians. That was the last one. Gosh, Sarah and I used to go to the movies two or three days a week, but since Hollywood's went rogue on me, I haven't really done very much. By the way, folks. I don't want to talk politics, but what happened to that guy in Spain that in the heat of a moment gave that girl a kiss, even though she swings, uh, she's a switch hitter, that never should have happened. And now an attorney's got her, and they're, they've, they've accused him of sexual harassment. Man, I ain't going to live in Spain no more. In fact, I might never even travel there, and I'm never going to watch lady soccer anymore. I mean, here's a guy that they, they win a championship, and he's very excited, and he he hugs the girl, and I know he, it certainly wasn't a romantic kiss, for God's sake. What's the matter with the world? Don't 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 they have any bit of – and, you know, it's not so much him, but it's her. She should have been the – time out, boys and girls. Larry's just been told by Johnny in the back of the room back there, get off your soapbox and talk about the markets. Okay, we're going to do that. Sorry about that. Won't do it again. But it sure bothered the heck out of me. I just can't believe that somebody would do that and – uh but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, soapbox, Larry. Yeah, you're right. Thanks a lot, Al. Anyway, we got a break coming up here, and then we will uh, continue talking about this bond market because I want to make the description here of what we're looking at here in this move as the 121 uh, 19 is the 382, and 121.29 is the uh, is the ABCD. So they're they're pretty close, but you got to go with the number. The number is the one that is the one that uh, takes you to the final dance and so let's keep uh, keep that in mind as we're watching some of these things here uh, unfold here as we look at some of these and where is my uh, how are we coming here with the order here I don't see it anywhere hold on how close are we uh, how high did we get we got as close as uh, 56 we came within 20 pips of what I was hoping for so the order is still setting there we're going to see if uh, that's the case. Now, if you can still, if you can see the Dow Jonesy Mini, 
uh, let me know if you can see that Dow Jones E-mini chart, folks, because I don't think you can, but we'll see. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're talking about the stock market and looking at to sell that E-mini Dow Jones at uh, 34873. Uh, we've been to 348153, uh, five, so it hasn't got there yet, so be patient. Uh, also, tomorrow, watch the Treasury bond. It's going to be a 382 retracement up there at that 121. Uh, gee, how close did it come? Boy, it came really close, I believe. Oh, it, well, 121.19 is the number, and we got to 121.12 so far, so that hasn't hit it yet. So we keep a close eye on that one, too, because remember the bonds, that market is six times bigger than the stock market, folks. So they play with real money over there. They don't play with funny money like we do here in the S&P and all the other things that we've got moving on there. So let's remind ourselves that that's what we're looking at as we're going through looking at some of these. Tomorrow's our guest will be uh, none other than Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. On Thursday, we're going to have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. And then, of course, on Friday, we're going to have... Mean no talking politics, Denapoli, 
And uh, Joe's been a friend of mine since, believe it or not, folks, 1969. He was one of the first people that opened an account at the uh, McCulloch Oil office building there in West L.A. that is still there. But uh, that market ceased, uh, the office ceased uh, many years ago uh, when these cheap commissions came in. They just couldn't afford to pay the pay the freight. Anyway, those are the things that we're paying attention to today, so I hope it helps. Uh, remember, we're going to have great volatility in these markets, folks. So keep in mind that it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And if you keep that in your bailiwick, you're going to be really, really happy. That's for sure. So remind ourselves of that, okay? we got some big moves coming in the grains, folks, because the grains are pretty much finished. But there's going to be some fireworks because it always gets cold around harvest time. And that's another way of saying more volatility. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Music.